Steve, what's uh, what's the ammunition you're using for your SKS? Oh, I use a bit because of the cost of it. I use some Norinco and some PMC. What's Norinco? Norinco is just a cheap um, ex-military round, but they're good for finishing the pigs off. And I'm usually putting two or three bullets in most pigs just to make sure they're dead. Yeah. So I put one soft point, one um, military round through, and uh, just saves a bit on the. I mean, you can buy these ex-military ones for like three bucks a box. You buy anything else, uh, soft points are like 20 bucks a box. Yeah. So when you're using so many rounds, and it depends on how, how many you want to throw around as well. So because I'm throwing a few around, I don't mind putting a few more. Um, I want to use the cheaper stuff as well. It doesn't yep. get pretty expensive. And there's plenty of this ex-military stuff around. It's sort so of everywhere. Really? Yeah, that's them there. Ex-military. They're not great, but um, for eradication, they're all, well, you wouldn't use them for hunting. But um, I just put one, one soft point, one ex-military when I put them through the... So soft you know. points of PMC? Yep. Oh, I do get some uh, Norinco soft points as well, yeah. but they are getting harder to find. So these PMC ones are 125 grains, and I think the Norinco ones, the military ones, are about 123 or something. I'm not sure. Yep. Some people won't like the fact that semi-auto, you don't, you don't always um, take your time with the shots, which is true. I sometimes I don't take time. Yeah. But because um, you've always got those follow-up shots. But um, even with that, I still seem to get more pigs than everybody else who comes out with bolt actions, lever actions, whatever. Mate, we've just had lunch. We probably drove. <laughs> we bloody drove probably not even 100 metres. Straight onto a pig. Pretty woolly hairy one. Yeah, he's a hairy one. Cool, cool black on, yeah, you got the winter winter coat on him. Put him out that way, mate. That legs are out. That's it. Got he's a nice pig. Show me his jaw there, mate. I'll open his jaw up for us. Not a bad looking fat pig that fella. Yeah. Straight into it. Got that good bore. We're gonna spread out, go along this in this thick stuff is this sort of kabungi grass sort of area. Things are hot held up in here, not far from water on that big lake. Let's see how we go. Get the eyes peeled. When they spotted a mob, they'd try and get as many pigs out of it as they could. Due to the long grass, this usually involves separating one out and getting them to a more open area. Then, after finishing that off, they'd head back for the next one. You reckon, Steve? Ah, uh, 50. Doing under the my arms and my shoulder. Yeah. Pretty heavy. How many in that mob do you think? Oh, well, I saw three. You saw another three, did you? I shot another three. Yeah. It was on a different mob than him. One good one, two small ones. Good one. Three now, Most three that we saw were all pretty good. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. They were all about 50. They were all, all like that. That'd be 50 kilo. Yeah, yeah, nearly big. Oh. Got him. One, one good shot and uh, yeah, dropped him. But it's probably the biggest pig we've had seen today. Oh yeah, he's a good There's another big one I got back there but we didn't get on film. Which, but I don't think it was as big as this. Yeah. And. Um, I mean, this area does have a lot of pigs this sort of size, but um, they've been thinned out a bit. I've been been coming here a bit, cleaning them a lot of these ones up. Yeah. And um, but yeah, no, he's a good pig. So we came out of that grass and. Yeah. Nice colour. He's like a silver, a white and dark. Well, in this area as well, I see actually completely white pigs as well. There's another area at the back. Yeah. Where there's just, I came across a mob last time I was here. I thought it was a mob of sheep. And it was just, I'm thinking there can't be that many pigs in one mob. And there would have been probably 30 of them. I thought it's a mob of sheep and I looked and it was a mob of pigs. Wow. Yeah. And Mate, uh, yeah, so they, they mix, they, they're white and the Yeah, lots of, mix. we had, quite, we've had quite a fair few black ones, uh, brindle, a couple yeah. of brindle ones. All different yeah, colours out here for sure. Yeah. yeah, awesome, good pig. It's got that bit of a ridge happening there as well. Yeah, you got the big razor back. Yeah. No, good pig. So with a full day shooting under their belts, they went back to camp to recharge the batteries. One thing I find when I'm shooting with these guns is when you're pulling off the bike, it's not always consistently the same thing. So you're, you're shooting, front, there's no lean or anything like you are when you're hunting. Yeah. So you tend to miss a few more shots in general because it's just, it's off the cuff and there's action happening and you just got to pull the trigger when you're hoping. And so a lot of the time you use a lot more shots. So the 10 shot isn't enough. I mean, sometimes it is. If you've got one, like three pigs, sometimes 10 shots is in three pigs for me because it's just not, not the same as hunting, and, and you're, they're running off, so you're trying to get a couple of Texas bullseyes just to sort of slow them up. And, um, but yeah, it does make it a little bit harder too. So it's, um, but the 30 shot is considerably better. But I carry, I usually carry four 30 shots with me, and I've gone run out of those like one after the other, clamped into them, clamped into them, clamped into them, and just gone through all the shots. Yeah. Hopefully today. Yeah, hopefully today I'm going to try and get a few. I do get some good shots sometimes. Sometimes I get like four pigs in four shots. But it's not rare. Like it happens, you're shooting like 200 pigs in a day or 200 pigs over a weekend. And you do get a lot of good shots as well. But there's some pretty ordinary ones happening as well because it's just, especially with the little pigs, they're a lot they're a lot smaller target, but they just dart in and out of all the scrub and everything. So yeah, you just shoot the best you can. 